The GoPro was in the waterproof case, so it's kind of hard to hear us. But basically, this curious cormorant was following us, and he followed us for about the first 15 minutes of our trip. He's so cute, we thought he was gone, and then he would just pop up again. We tried to capture him underwater with the camera, and it was really hard. We thought it would be clearer than it was, but it wasn't. Yeah, we can see it here. There he is! Hey. He's just playing with it. There he is. <laughs> but here he is. Now, that brown blurb. Here we are. We are at Shell Key. There's a few other keys out there. Um, we came from, let's see, there's a gray house. We paddled all the way from over there. And as you can guess or not, uh, it's pretty shallow here. But looking around, um, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So. We're going to head over that way, I think, or wherever. We're just going to go find Shell Island and go on the other side where it's sandy and fun. All right, we're getting better at our kayaking together, so that's good news. Pretty fun. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. We want to kind of go out to that little, little key right there, too. But yeah, this is, this is as deep as it gets for now, so, all right, later. That's Fort DeSoto right there? Yep. Oh, so when we're at yep, the yep, tip yep. and we see, oh, oh. Not cool. Okay, I just need more video because it's so pretty. I guess the dog is at the campgrounds over there, Berkey? Yeah, dog is Yeah. Those little people at the end of Fort DeSoto over there? The water is so calm. Yeah, it's like glass. smoother than old glass. Okay, so this little guy probably needs to go back in, and so does this sand dollar. But other than that, we paddled from way over there, and now we have... For almost an hour. Well, except for those people. We've been paddling for about an hour. We have our own little island. We've got our own little island. All those birds over there. So this is ours for a while. <laughs> they're kind of walking away from us, but they're pretty close. I think we'll leave them alone.
big horse. Okay, I can't get this pose. Oh, wow. Okay, let's not make it starve. Let's put it in the water so it doesn't starve, please. I think it was being eaten by oh. this thing. Oh no, he's being eaten? Yes. Oh so gosh. That's why. Clam versus, uh, versus What's his name? Seahorse. Oh, hold on to him in the water and let him get some oxygen. So we were looking at shells and we I found the shell and I picked it up and it had a seahorse in it. The seahorse was being eaten or something. You can tell it's still alive, it's little eyes. Okay, put him back in so he can breathe. Because okay. who knows how much a seahorse can be out of the water your breath, buddy. Okay. He's puffing up. He's got a bad eye. Oh, that's no, that's no fair. He can't breathe. Put him back in. Put him back in. Bye-bye. We can get him on the underwater. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I've inflated him. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh that's so sad, Casey. Oh. Shut up. That's his defense. Yes, I'm getting him on video. <laughs> deflate, deflate little puff puff. There he is, he's deflated. It's okay. Don't be scared off. Oh, there he goes. He's like, can I do it? Come over here and get it. I just don't want to scare him. I just don't want to scare him. I didn't know that when they puffed, they floated. I don't think they do. I think he just got air. Oh. There he goes. Yay! Yay. <laughs>